Hi, welcome to the video series of Hadoop Multi-Node Cluster Setup in Google Cloud Platform. In last two sessions, we have seen the overview of Hadoop Cluster, Google Cloud Platform and also created three VM instances called NameNode-1, DataNode-1 and DataNode-2 with the mentioned configuration. In session 3, we are going to interconnect these three instances and make ready to act as a cluster. For this, we have to follow the steps given the slide. If you see the slide, first three steps are same in all the instances. So first get into the instance 1 that is name node 1 and complete all the three steps. Then get into another two instance and do the steps. Fourth step is only for instance 1. Ok, now let's go to the Google Cloud VM instance home page. You can see three instances are running. Open a connection to name node 1 instance in the browser. Ok. As a first step, we have to create new user. For that, switch as root user. The command is sudo space i. Now we can create a user called hd user. The command to create the user is add user space the username. Okay, so the user get created. Now we have to set the password for the user. Password is also we are going to use hd user. The command is passwd. Okay. So the password and now I can set that one. Password also I am setting as hd user. So it's a bad password but that's fine. So we can use hd user. Now it's get created. Okay. So we done with step 1. Let's move on to the step 2. In this step we enable password and SSH key based authentication. By default it's disabled. So why we are doing this? We are enabling this because instance can communicate with each other using password and SSH keys so that we can copy the files or keys between the instances. For enabling this, we will edit the sshd underscore config file which is under slash etc slash ssh path. To edit in the editor, the command is slash etc slash the path slash ssd ssd underscore config. Okay, so you can scroll down. So if you scroll down, you can see this password authentication by default it has been disabled. You can change to insert mode by pressing I key. Then you can uncomment this and then you can command this password authentication. No part. Again likewise you have to do for challenge response also. So once you have done this escape colon wq to save and quit. Ok now we need to restart the ssd service to apply the changes. The command is service space ssd space restart. Ok, now let's clear the screen. Ok, then we will move on to the step 3. In this step, we are going to add the internal IP address and name of the node in the host file. Again, why we are doing this? This is to communicate other nodes with name, with name instead of IP address. For instance, if I want to connect data node 1 from name node, I can use the command ssh space data node 1, else I have to use the IP address. So how we can do this? Ok, let's edit the file etc slash hosts using the command da space etc slash hosts. So in this one, if you see right, the first two lines are for setting the instance local host. In third line, you can see three values separated by space. So first value is internal IP address, second is fully qualified domain name and the third is the instance name. By default it get added while creating the instance. Now we can, we have to add the other two instance info in the same format. For this we have to go to the other instance and get the internal IP and then fully qualified domain name. Ok, let us go, let us go to the data node 1 and see how to get the IP address and fully qualified domain. Ok, this is data node 1, here you can type a command hostname space i to get the IP address. Likewise, you can type hostname iPhone you have to get the fully qualified domain name. Now you can copy this two information and paste it in, paste into the name node 1 instance in the defined format. So now in the name node 1, just you can copy this line, whole line. So just control C to copy this and then insert mode you can enter space and then you can paste it. Likewise, you can also paste this one. Okay. Okay. So here, this IP address you have to change for data node one. So 
so here also instead of name node you can have it as data node if and one so for this the same thing here for data node one the ip address is going to be four and here also you can see like data node if and two you have to change okay likewise at the end also you have to define the name So this data node information you can get it from the data node data node tool information you get it from the data node two. Okay, we have added two instance IP address, fully qualified domain name, and the name of the instance. So that's it. We can save and quit the editor. Okay, we have done all three steps in instance one. So repeat the same in instance two and instance three. Let's open instance two or data node one. Here you can go here and then open the data node iPhone 1. As we have done in instance 1, here also we have to do the same three steps. The first step switch as root user and create user called HD user and set password HD user. So switch as root user add user HD user setting password PES. Sir, so password is also HD user. HD user. Okay, done with step one. Now open the SS, sshd underscore config file. Edit. Scroll down, so you can uncomment this. The password authentication yes, and then comment the password authentication no. Again, you can do the same thing for challenge response authentication. You can comment this and then you can comment. So save and quit. Now restart the SSHD service. The command is service space SSHD space restart. Done with step two. Now step three to edit the host file and add the name node one and data node two information. So edit using the editor. Here you can see that data node 1 information is already been added. So now we can copy this data information. So again we have to add for other two instances. So paste it, paste it. So here we have to change instead of data node we have to make it as name node. So name node, name node iPhone 1 and then data node iPhone 2 we have to add. So we can change accordingly. Here also we have to change data node iPhone 2. So here we have to change it as name node. Name node. The IP address is going to be 2 for this. So this is going to be 4. That's it. You can save and then you can quit. Okay. Now you can close this window by using this browser. Just you can close the browser. Now you can open this data node iPhone 2 and repeat this, this one here you can go and open this one open in browser window you can open this and then repeat the three step process that we have done for data node 1 okay so the first step so just switch as root user so then you can create the user called HD user so setting the password for HD user so step one has done step two edit the ssh file uncomment the password authentication yes and then comment password authentication no this below you can do the same thing and uncomment and then you can comment it that's it you can save and quit restart the service service ssd space restart now step 3 edit the host file so data node 2 it's already been added we have to add for name node 1 and the data node 1 over here copy this line and then paste it okay i have changed this this address if you see right so 0 0.2 for name node iPhone 1 I have changed and also below also data node iPhone 1 I have made it and then this IP address is going to be 0 
Likewise, at the end also, I have made it as like name, name node iPhone 1 and then the data node iPhone 1. So now you can save this and then you can quit. So now we have done all the three steps in all the three instances. So the final step, we have to do it only on instance 1 or name node 1. So in this step, we will create SSH keys in instance 1 and copy the public key into another two instances. So this is because instance 1 can communicate as HD user to other two instances without password. It's required when we are starting all data node and node manager service from instance 1 or name node 1. Okay, let's open name node 1. Now we switch as HD user. The command is su space hd user. It will ask the password. The password is also hd user. So now we have been as hd user. Now we go to the home path of it. Now execute the command ssh space iphan ssh iphan keygen space iphan t space rsa space iphan capital p space so empty string. Okay. So this command is used to generate the public private key using RSA algorithm with empty password. So don't give anything, just enter. So the key got generated. Okay, now clear the screen by pressing Ctrl L. So then what we are going to do now is we have to copy the generated public key to another two instances. For that we use the command ssh iphone copy iphone id command. So this is the command. So which will copy this public key to the data node 1 hd user home path. Just enter it. So it will ask yes or no. Just you can give yes. Password. We give the password. HD user as the password. Now it get added. Okay. So if you see right, we are connecting this uh, data node one from name node using the data node iPhone one without using the IP address. So that we, we have added those information in the slash etc slash host file. Okay. We can repeat the same step for copying into data node iPhone two. So just instead data node iPhone 1 you can make it as data node iPhone 2 and then you can enter the command. So again you can give S. Yes. Then you can use the password HD user same password. Now it will get added. Again now in the same instance we have to copy the public key under the authorized file. So the same command we can use. So instead like data node iPhone 2 we can make it as name node iPhone 1. So again you can use S. Yes and then password hd user so we'll get added successfully okay so now we clear this window by pressing ctrl l okay now we can give read write permission for the key file called authorized keys where we have copied the public key so using this command we can give the read write permission for the hd user okay so we have done this so that's it uh, fine uh, we are able to connect three instances without password on behalf of hd user also, we can test to connect data node 1 using hd user using ssh command. While connecting, you should not ask password. Okay, so ssh space data node iPhone 1. So you can see, right, it is not asking password. So now it has been moved to data node, disconnected to data node 1. Likewise, we can also, we can get exit to come out of this system coming, coming back to name node 1. We can use exit likewise we can also connect to data node iphone 2 so from name node now we are able to connect to both the data node 1 and the data node instance without password so we are successfully we have done that okay while connecting if it asks password then public key file is not copied properly please make sure from name node it's connecting to other data node with pa without password now the three node cluster is ready we can install all distributed application in this cluster so in the next session, we are going to install and configure Hadoop in this cluster. So that's it for this session. See you on session 4. That's the last session. Thanks for watching this video.